So I usually don't do that, but for the purpose of um, uh, chipsets uh, viability and chips com uh, compatibility with computers, uh, I decided to share my experience with my old chip and the new chip that is running right now on my computer. So this is a VPC EH computer. Um, the full name, I don't have it right now, but maybe I can check it. Uh, the most important thing is that I bought uh, on eBay. Yes, run it. I bought on eBay uh, a chip according to uh, what was online uh, the best compatible chip for uh, HM65 Express and I really insist on e Express HM65 Express Sandy Bridge motherboard so this is a really not usual computer for anything nowadays the Vio Sony is really considered as like one of the worst computer back in 2011 this one especially was like low quality for just like poor point texts and absolutely no crazy thing like sequ music sequence or video making video games but here we are so we're gonna check it it's running because I installed the best uh, well at least the second best uh, chip for the Sandy Bridge HM65 Express it's the Intel Core i7-2860QM and it works with 45 watts my computer is right now really really cold uh, it's not overheating I don't even know if you can hear the ventilation but it's a really small sound the computer could run really easily and um, the only thing that might be a bit per um, weird is that normally this chipset is supposed to run with 4 core and this one only detects 2 cores and 4 threads why this chipset is supposed to allow you uh, yeah, 4 cores and 8 threads so that's the only down thing because maybe I have a too old version of inside BIOS that cannot interpret the, um, the CPU correctly but at least it's working and it's working great And also really high cache and that's uh, really 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 uh, convenient so now what I found is that uh, when you check in task manager and in device manager the computer didn't know what was the name actually so that's why uh, CPU it was telling me that I was not uh, running on 4 cores and 8 threads, but now it changed because before doing the, the change you will see the old name, it was i3, I don't know what, and 2 cores and 4 threads and you could see them uh, here. And so what you had to do is to right click on it and uninstall. And you have to do it for every one of them and at the last one you have to say yes I want to restart the computer will take a time to restart because he has to reread and rewrite what is the new CPUs and normally it will be eight threads in total one two three four five six seven eight just like this and the CPU is running normally so um, conclusion it's just a, a bug you can install the i72860QM CPU even on 2011 Sony laptop uh, at least because it's no more than uh, 45 watt for the HM65 
um, chipsets um, with Sandy Bridge. I hope you like this video and I hope you you will find it useful for your future uh, upgrades on old computers and um, don't forget to put thermal paste.